God or for your charity. Okay, whatever. And then the fourth part, that is four over five, eighty percent, shall be your own for seed investing. Number one for seed investing. So you earn fifty thousand. First, remove ten thousand naira for investing. If you cannot sustain on fifty, if fifty thousand naira doesn't do you, um, okay. Let me put it this way: if forty thousand naira does not uh, do you to live in a month, fifty thousand naira cannot make any difference. Did you hear what I said? Uh, if your quality of life you are not satisfied with your thirty thousand, if you spend forty thousand, you still not be satisfied. But if you keep that ten thousand. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. One year because 120,000, you are doing a job. One day you carry it, 120,000. You'll be able to put it somewhere. Are you still here? He said four, four feet, uh, the four fifth will be for seed first of the field and for your food, the spending, and for them of your household. There is no excuse. You have to give to others. Am I communicating? Headstone people, let it never get to the point where, ah, mommy, or daddy, uh, don't you know what the world is saying? Don't you know what Nigeria is saying? And then you stop sending seed to them. You can attract a curse. Are you still here? You can attract a curse. So. The, the thing before, no matter the, the bishop praying for the person, it will not move. Whether there's famine or not, it is their ethos, it is their right. You must be giving it to them. All these are saying that you need, so you need to call down the so except for your household and for your little ones. The children must eat now. For your the children must eat. Okay, so so you need to do all this. So you need to save. You need to have extra. Okay, and then when you now have the extra, I will advise if it is little, start doing contributions. Start doing contributions. Do a job. Do thrift or do cooperative. And then uh, you, when the money is somewhat, you can carry it. You can carry it and then put it somewhere. Not to go and buy a car. Not to go and buy cloth. Praise the Lord. I, like, I, I saw a video. I didn't know whether to send it to church platform, so I didn't send it. One man was talking. He really lambasted. Uh, he, he, he titled it... Um, um, hashtag she carry me. Hashtag she carry me. He was really talking about the, the, this thing about Nigerians and Africans generally. We always like to do things so that others can notice. And others are not noticing, sir. They are not. No matter how you do it, you are the only one who is noticing that you spend all the money in the world. Ah! I saw a WhatsApp something yesterday. A, a politician was receiving somebody, maybe from abroad, and he used a wine, bottle of wine, 13.6 million naira to, rep to welcome the person. 13.6 million naira. That's the uh, uh, mentality of Africa. And then they videoed it and sent it around. So to them, so that they will see how I welcome somebody. But he doesn't know he's dispersing, he's dispersing his, his foolishness. 13.6 million naira. Do you know the people he will send to school? He can start three schools. Okay, so, uh, so do that. And then businesses to look at. If you have enough money, still going to real estate. Real estate is, is something else. Any day, any time. Any day, any time. Real estate is something that if you can do that or if you can buy, just keep it, remove your eyes. After some time, you come back and sell it. If you cannot do that, I tried farming. I told you uh, um, yesterday about farming. I got uh, my fingers burnt. Okay, maybe we'll remove that one from the list for now. Praise the Lord. But other things you can do, there are several. There are several. Buying and selling is the easiest uh, uh, businesses you can do, whether you are you are fiscally involved or not. Okay, so you order maybe like uh, what's it called now? Ofio, tiger nut. You order from the north or wheat or anything, and then somebody brings it here and you are selling it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or it's yam or anything that you are ordering. So why I remove farming? I it finally dawned on me that the people who make money from farming are the people who market farming products. 
not the farmer. That's why Nigerians run away from, from the hard work. Okay, so you do all the hard work and then somebody will come and buy it. Seven, uh, seven pieces of corn, 200 naira. As you are going, just before you finish this street, you see him there. He has merchandised it and he's selling three for 500. Okay, so you can also, if you want to do farming, you can go into that aspect. Buy stuff and then buy stuff there, sell it here. You can do that. Okay, and then uh, look at some other businesses that are thriving. You can put your money there. Okay, you can put your money in stocks, but be very careful. Uh, make sure it is a, multi, a, a multinationals, uh, and then um, you, you really beware. Go with, do that with advice. Okay, and then some other things like uh, uh, mini importation. Mini importation. Okay, there's a friend of Pastor Folabis. He has come here to talk. That guy is not complaining. The last time I talked to him, he said, lie, lie. I, can't. I, said, I was joking with him. Sammy, are you not going to Japa? I said, never, sir. Japa to do what now? He is not complaining at all. He, is into, he has all, all this online site. And his work in a day is just to follow all the things, that the new items that have been, been, uh, been advertised online. And then he will just pick the ones that he wants to start selling. Are you still here? People are talking now. It's becoming more and more common now. Come on, now about this carburetor with which you can use uh, gas for your, for your fuel rather than whatever. And then some people are already... Do you know people are changing their cars into uh, gas, uh, CNG in Nigeria? Those are loopholes. Loopholes to make money. I'm sure some Igbo boys now have gone to where they are making it and, they are, you, and you don't need to have all the money in the world. Okay, you bring in some, you start, it may take time to build up and then, bam, selling. Selling is very powerful. Very powerful. If you read Proverbs 31, that virtuous woman, she sold. She bought here and then she sold there. So, so but the idea is the things, what things can you sell? How will you know the things you have to sell? You have to have eyes for it. Praise the Lord. Some people's plan now, whenever they see that carburetor about how to, uh, how to use your fuel, how to use your generator with uh, gas, the only thing in their mind is how to buy their own. My mind works differently. This thing, how can we market it? Can you see that? It's different. It is different. Before it floods everywhere. You remember the guy, the tall Igbo guy that came here. He said an Indian man told him that whichever country where GSM enters, new billionaires are made. You remember he made that statement. What are the things that are new? These are the things we should be busy doing on the internet. Not, uh, how are you? Fine, thank you. Whenever you see me do this, I think the only place where I'm really socially, I do social things when I'm doing WhatsApp is either on church platform or my family. That's all. Okay, school, 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 uh, and can grammar school. That's all. Any other place you are, uh, okay, oh, okay, man. Are you still here? Mostly, I'm doing one economic something or the other here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord. Okay, I don't have too much money. How can five people band money together and go and do something? How can ten people pull money together? Ten people that you trust. And then you go and put, uh, do something. Discover something you want to do. And do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay? Um, now, I must say this. Whether one lives here or not. Whether one lives here or not. This issue of entrepreneuring. Be doing business, making money through it, is something you need, either here or there. So that you don't end up going there and then you walk till you enter your grave. Are you still here? Most night, there you can't retire. You can't retire. Especially maybe if you are not a citizen. If you dare retire, they will bury the person before you die. There's one of our, my, our elsewhere pastors. His older sister and her husband are there. They are retired from what they are doing.
But the man had to go back and start doing security. They have lived there almost 30 years. Because he is still paying for, for house. The moment you don't come and pay for it, they will come and collect it from you. All the 27 years you are paid will go. So it's something that one needs. Everybody should be doing something enterprising one way or the other. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I do not know if you have... Praise God. Yes. Pastor, you've said a lot. Yes. But one of the things that you said that uh, we cannot maximize our, our, our earnings without being entrepreneuring. Yes. But there, there are people here, and uh, I'm sure we have some people here that they've not grown up in, in the environment or with the mindset of uh, entrepreneuring. Mm. How can that mindset be shifted? Because without entrepreneuring, you may not be able to expand your earnings. Thank you. It's that, it's that mindset. How can it be shifted? And is there, is, is there a, a, an ABC or a stepwise way to overcome that, that kind of mindset? Just throw yourself at it. Throw yourself at it. If you see entrepreneurs, did you notice something? Mostly the people who are moving and are living are people who are working, who are in corporate organizations, mostly. Because an entrepreneur, ah, number one, he has gotten to a place where, wait, to, I wake up in the morning, then I'll go and work for somebody, and then 25 days, they will, I will say they should give me. That thing, you overcome it while you are doing it. Are you still here? So you see, just check the jackpots. It is, jack, nothing is wrong with it. But it is mostly people who are earning salaries. Yes. The more it is looking like this country wants to collapse, the man who is an entrepreneur, oh, who is uh, The person who called me and said, I don't understand. How can dollar be 900,000? I say it is you people that is affecting much. Oh. You people, he sells uh, phones. Uh, I fairly use phones. Uh, you hear him making conversations. iPhone, yeah, 500,000 and all that. So I say it's you people that is affecting. He said, no, it doesn't affect me. Oh. Is it not? If, uh, true, less and less people will buy. But it is what, at what rate I buy that I will shift to the buyer. Are you still here? Everybody's afraid, but the entrepreneur is really, his fear is not too much. Oh. <laughs> it or not, will leave, she be afraid. No matter how bad it is, people will come and eat. And she's not cost that she will use 10,000 naira to make a pot of soup and then be selling it at 7,000 naira. So she has to mark it up, period. If it will bad fellow, wow, 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 to come and buy it. That's your wahala. So throw yourself at it. So she was in MTN. She wasn't doing entrepreneur, and then she threw herself at it. And now, it is the best life that she could have been living. Are you still here? Her husband, the same thing. He was working, and then being afraid. I, I, I remember the discussion that me and him had. They are owing you, they are owing you, they are owing you. I'm, I'm scared. Say, but they've been owing you for one year now, and you have not died. Why not give them paper and go and start something? That's where he is today. Are you still here? So throw yourself at it. it it's, it's a soft skill. You can't go to university. To, you can learn how to make it work better. But how to become it? Uh, how do you, uh, Emmanuel, help me. Give me a word. You, you, you learn it. It's a conditioning you learn. It's a condition. It, listen, there's a big massive difference between the owner of the business and the person working in the business. Every time as things are happening, his head is working. IT's head is working. We must pay salary. We must do this. Working, working. Even in the sleep, working, working, working. You just, the person who she's paying just goes, walk, walk, walk. Just go and sit down. Nothing. Thinking nothing. It's a conditioning that you have to get, get into. Are you still here? Yes, sir. So just throw yourself at it. While you are still doing your work, start it little. Start it little, start it little, start it little, you'll be getting used to it. Because ultimately, that's where you should end up. Mm. Glory to God. 
one of my brothers, uh, uh, they, so they got there and they were looking for health, health jobs. And then they said they met an Edo woman. So she's one of the owners of those, uh, those consultancy companies that help to send people. So there, you, you give your, your details. You are apply online to different uh, uh, organizations, uh, different care, care organizations. And then they will send you to different places. And then one of them, one of them, his wife said that um, the, the, this woman, I met an elder woman, she also owns an, an health organization. And, you know, she told me, don't, don't worry, we'll look for a, a job for you. When I heard her, I said, wow, that's where to go. Are you still here? So, so that person is sitting in one place and she's sending people differently. She must have learned it. Am I communicating? So they that have gone there now, that's where, that's how, what they should be targeting. Not that you go and jab, jab, they give you something. Mm. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I don't have any formula for you to. I wasn't like that. My family, our, our parents, my mom did little entrepreneur. She was a fashion designer. She sold rice, sold this one. But we're not like that. My dad, driver all his life, driving uh, big people. I thank God for Fumi Williams. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesu. <laughs> I'm sorry if they have any profession in heaven, she will be an entrepreneur there. <laughs> From school, she was already selling, selling pad and all those things to women, to girls. So we start a pharmacy and then literally I was pastoring, but I was absorbed into entrepreneuring. Because you have to be solving problems, passe, 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 or as you go, problem, problem. After some time, you will become a problem solver personified. Are you still here? Yes, and then, so that, that is it. So that's how to throw into it, go into it. Start while you are still working so that your heart will not cut. Some people, <laughs> if, they, if they don't have a promise of salary in the next 30 days, some people, they, <laughs> if they, their, their heart will be doing. Bleh. B, B, not the entrepreneur. <laughs> Sam, not the entrepreneur. The money will come. I'm baptizing uh, his into it right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, go on. Okay, Pastor. Uh, okay, uh, we'll go into the questions now, but I just wanted to say one of the things you just made mention of salary people, their hearts beating when they don't, when they anticipate that they won't get their salaries. I've come to realize that one of the reasons why salary people even stay so long in a job, is that if they don't get the salary for the next month, there is nothing to fall back on. That's the issue. It's a, it's a trap. It's a trap that anybody who, who wants to grow up and be at uh, and who wants to be at peace in old age should walk out of. It's a trap. Praise God. <laughs>